is x equal to 1 over y? In other words, are x and y reciprocals of one another? That's an interesting question. Uh, looking at the statements, it seems that they're kind of equivalent. I can infer statement 2 from statement 1 by dividing both sides by xy. And I know that I'm allowed to divide both sides by xy because xy is definitely not 0. How do I know that xy is not 0? Well, because statement 1 just told me that xy is 1. So I can divide both sides by xy and I'll get statement 2. And vice versa, if I know statement 2, I can infer statement 1 by uh, multiplying both sides by xy. So these statements are exactly uh, equivalent. One implies the other and vice versa. And that means that I can eliminate answer choices a, b, c without even looking at the question. And I go into why that is in section 2 of my book, which you can actually read for free on quantreasoning.com. Now the question is, do these statements imply that x and y are reciprocals of one another? So going back to statement 2, if we multiply both sides by x, we get exactly what the question was asking about. Uh, so it turns out that each of these statements is sufficient on its own, and the correct answer is d. If you like this approach, be sure to check out my book. It's all in there. What do you want me to talk about in my next video? Type it down in the comments below and maybe I'll make a video just for you. Make sure you're subscribed and click that little bell icon below so you don't miss any future videos. See you next time!